What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that ranked double ladder for Series 10. And ladies and gentlemen, today we are showcasing a Zacian team, but this time alongside with Gengar. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, you guys are crazy. Thank you so much for the support that has been going out across the channel. But since Series 10 has been out for a little bit now, we use a lot of the restricted mods. So now we're going to be starting to reuse some of the restricted mods, but also using some off-meta teams like we have here. So today's video is going to be a fun one. We got a team with Gengar on it alongside with Pelipper and Magnuson. Three off-meta Pokemon. Cannot wait to show that off and show this team to its fullest potential. But getting started, we got Gengar in that top left corner. This Pokemon is an absolute beast. One of my favorites of all time. Probably one of many people's favorites of all time because it's just such a cool Pokemon and the OG Ghost Pokemon. It's got Cursed Body, Focus Ash as item Sludge Bomb, and Shadow Ball, both for stab, Trick Room, and Imprison. So we can imprison Trick Room teams or if we really need Trick Room, say they have Speed Control, we can pop a Trick Room and roll from there. Right next to him is the one and only roll boom. That's all I need to say. You guys already know the moveset, the item, the ability. It's right there if you guys want to check it out. Middle left is going to be Pelipper over here. And Pelipper, this is a little weird that we have Pelipper on this team, but he's here for weather control. We got Drizzle and the Damp Rock with him. Hurricane, Scald, Wide Guard, and Protect. I really do like this moveset on him, but no other Pokemon on this team really benefits from the Pelipper. Like usually when you have Pelipper on your team, someone has Swift Swim, someone's rocking Hurricane, someone's rocking Thunder, but in this case, it, nobody is. Nobody's benefiting from Pelipper, so Pelipper is going to be his own mod, and he's basically solely there to just uh, protect from weather teams. Say they have a drought team, we're going to bring in Pelipper, and we're going to be able to control weather from there. He also has that wide guard though, which helps with double hitting moves that are so big in the series. Right next to him, we got Volcarona, and I've been loving this Pokemon. Ever since Series 10 has came out, you've been seeing more and more Volcarona, and he's really, really good all around, so I am actually happy to actually use this Pokemon and maybe set him up with a Quiver Dance, considering he's rocking that move. Flame Body as its ability, Citrus Berry as its item, move set of Rage Power, Heat Wave, Quiver Dance, and Protect. Bottom left corner is going to be the big dog for that team, and that is going to be Zacian over here. Interpret Sword as its ability, then he has a Rusted Sword as his item, so every time he hops into battle, he's going to get plus one on that attack board, which is just so big. It's big all around. He turns into a beast, and he's able to hit really, really hard. We got Iron Head and Play, Play Rough, both for stab moves, close combat for our coverage move, and protect as our final move. Last Pokemon on this team is going to be Magneto, a nice little off-meta Pokemon who I think is pretty underrated. It's really strong. I used him multiple times in the past, and I really, really like this Pokemon. We got Analytic as his ability, Assault Vest so we can soak up some special attacking shots, and then this awesome move set of Flash Cannon, Thunderbolt, Steel Beam, and Body Press. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, you already know the deal. Rental code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Zacian and Gengar team. Well, look what we have here. Of course, when we're using an off-meta team, this guy is rocking the most meta team. This is a huge Kyogre team right here, and pretty much the staple Kyogre team. It has all the meta Pokemon, and it is a top-tier team. He has the Kyogre, the Tornadus, the Moongus, Regilecki, and then the best starter combo, Incineroar, and Rollboom. Okay, so how should we go into this one? We could pull off this win. That could be a big win for us. Going up with this off-meta team, that'll be so sick. I could lead Zacian. Um, I could go Gengar and try to just, like, trick him right off the rip. We do have Focus Ash. I mean, he does have a little bit of speed. He has no terrain, and that's a huge, that's a huge plus for us. Do I think he's going to lead that? Do I think he's going to lead the Kyogre? I think so. I'm going to lead the Rillaboom just to pose that threat onto that. Hmm. Could lead the Zacian, but I really don't want to. I kind of want to lead the Special Attacker. I might lead the, lead the Gengar here. Lovely little Gengar. We do have the Sash. Um, hmm. Definitely want to bring Zassi in. I think Magnetone's going to be our final Pokemon. We don't need Pelipper because we don't need Weather Control. But I think we should be fine with all this. I don't with it. I'm kind of with it all day. I could rock a Trick Room. I really could uh, pop a Trick Room early on in this match. But it really depends on the speed factor. So we're going to see what he does and how he goes into this. And of course, there's a fly in my room. And every time I'm recording, there's a fly in the house. It always finds its way to my room because I have these big bright lights there. And, you know, bugs and flies like light. So if you see a fly flying around in front of my camera, that is why. Like, you'll see it. You'll see me probably like trying to swat it away every once in a while. But he, he's pretty annoying right now. I've seen him fly a couple times, landing on my lights and whatnot. Really, really annoying. But he's going to end up leading the Regilecki and the... Uh, and the Incineroar, which I don't like this lead one bit. I really do not like this lead. I could set up a Trick Room. I could set up an easy Trick Room, which I'm thinking of doing. I'm thinking of setting up an easy Trick Room and potentially just faking out onto, like, Regilecki, maybe taking off the Sash. Let's do it. Well, I could just Grass Glide. Nah. Actually, could I? 
I'd rather just fake out here. Let's fake out and let's set up this trick room. I just want to see the speeds on the squad real quick. Let's see the speeds on the squad. Is trick room really going to be a big thing here? 220, 80. It might help us out. That's the thing. I think it is going to help us out here. And just wasting this one out until Zassian comes in. I think we do go for a trick room. I really do think that's the play. So I'm going to pop a trick room here. Usually this is here kind of just to imprison the trick room. But I think we should be fine with this. The fake out's going to come out here. We are going to be able to flinch that thing. He's going to go for a flare blitz. That's totally fine. I think we should be able to eat this up, right? That's an easy eat, right? Nope. Real boom. Dead. Usually, I, I think he can usually eat those up. But no, nah, he just gets stumped on. But big, big recoil damage is coming out here. I'm kind of cool with that. I'm kind of cool with him going down there. I'm surprised he did go straight for the flare blitz. I thought he was just going to go for like a fake out or something along those lines. But it's all good. Oh, good. We got the trick room up. So speed is going to be our friend. So we're going to bring out Magnezone here. Magnezone is going to come out here. And I could just uh could just start dropping some body press. Might be my play for him. Go to a body press with him and just wait out for the Zacian. Oh yeah, I think we could do that all day. I can just go straight into a body press here. And I know that my boy should be able to just take out the uh the Regilecki, no problem. I know we outspeed and he's a little light booger. He's gonna end up protecting you, that's totally cool. So I'm really cool with that turn. Considering, oh, we double protect. That's fine. You can just waste out my trick room turns. I'm kind of here to just take out your Regilecki and then waste out the trick room turns myself for my Zassian to come into the battle later. So let's just see how this one goes. So he's looking to see what I'm going to do. So now I am going to actually switch up my moves. Except for body press. I'm still going to go into a body press onto Incineroar. Because he might keep Incineroar in here. He might keep Incineroar in here. I still want to go for a body press here. He might take me out with another Flare Blitz, which could be tough, but I am still going to drop a Shadow Ball and get rid of this Le Regilecki. Let's see how this one plays out. Body press comes out. How much damage are we doing on this thing? Mm. Mm, not, not bad. Could have been better. Another Flare Blitz is probably going to come out here. He is going to drop the Darkest Lane, which I do dig. I do dig, because that's going to bring me down to my Sash. And I am rocking a Sash, which we love. Which we love. Sash is coming out here. Shadow Ball should be able to finish off Regilecki right here. And Cursed Body takes away Dark Slayer. I really do like that. Shadow Ball is flying out here. You send that over there. Say bye bye to Regilecki. Get out of my game. Get him out of here. We don't want him here. We don't need him here. Hopefully he throws out somebody super, super fast. That's what we're hoping here. That's what we are hoping here. I could swap. I could do a huge swap here. Hmm. Trying to think. Trying to think. What could Jeans do here? He has to have the Kyogre, right? And probably Tornadus. But Moongus is going to fly through here. The so Moongus is going to fly through here. I could just go for another body press here. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. And I think we go down here. Actually, he can't Darkest Lariat, but he could go into a Flare Blitz. So I might double down. I think I'm going to double down onto him. I can. I wish I was Rock of Protect. Spore is going to come out here. And, yo, the Trick Room is just benefiting him all day. I'm actually kind of glad he went for... Actually, not really. I was going to say, I'm actually kind of glad he went for Gengar, but Body Press is going to fly out here. Give me a crit or something. Nice damage over there. Brings him down to red, and we are slumped, and this berry is going to trigger. So I think he's going to go for a Flare Blitz to take out my Magnezone. And this Incineroar is really running us. He's really running us. Flare Blitz is going to come out here. We still have the Zacian. I don't think Trick Room was a play. It sounded good in my head where it was just like, okay, he has a pretty fast Pokemon. So now he just has Spore. Spore's looking really good up against me. Gengar's fast asleep. He's slumped. He's tired. He's not having none of this. Um, he's probably just gonna put my boy to sleep, right? I mean, how many turns left in trigger? That's a that's a real question. That is a real question. Hopefully, it's one so I can just protect and kind of get rid of it. But I don't think it is. Actually, it might be. It might be one because they protect the first turn. We got off two body presses. Um, might be one. I'm hoping. Let's see. Info. So here it is one. So. We can just do an easy protect just to protect us from the, uh, the what's it called? The spore. And I guess we'll go for a shadow ball while we try to get this one off. Do damage on somebody. So protect coming out from Zacian. We rocking out with that. Gotta love it. We got our attack boost. Protect is out and about. Spore is going to get blocked. And I think Gengar is going to go down here unless he doubles down. He is going to double down. That is huge. Wake up Gengar. Wake up Gengar. Gengar's still asleep. Okay, so speed is going to go back into our favor. So this is why I want to waste out the trick room. I really, really do like this. And he might swap the Incineroar. But Gengar is here. He might swap the Incineroar. And in that case, I might just double down into him. Or what should I do here? What should I do here? Hmm. 
And I know we're outspeeding, unless he, unless he rage powders, right? Which he might do. I could go for a blade. I am going to go for his blade here. And I think a sludge bomb should just be able to take that thing out, no problem, right? So we're going to sludge bomb target him, and we're going to behemoth wait over onto the Moogus. He's going to rage powder up. Okay, that's fine. We're going to be able to get a double shot onto him, and I wonder what he's going to do. Is he going for a flare blitz, maybe? Behemoth blade flying through here. Hopefully we can at least take out this Amoogus. Let's see how this one plays out. So there's that. Bop. Huge damage. Huge damage. So Amoogus is definitely going to go down here. I knew my boy was going to wake up. Sludge Bomb is going to pop. And that is huge. So we have decent speed here. As long as he doesn't take me out with this Flare Blitz, I think we should be thriving. Let's see what he does. He is going to go straight for that Flare Blitz. And how's it going to play out? Eats up. Oh, he's going to go after Gengar. Yo, I'm with that. I'm with it. I'm with it. Okay, who are you bringing out here? That's the real question. That is the real question. Recoil damage is going to do that, and it comes out here. Comes down to 2v1 with Zassian with a plus one attack. So, real question is, who are you going to go into? Is it got to be Kyogre, right? Okay, I see. Don't, I, I see. I see you. Okay, so his Flare Blitz isn't going to do as much, so I think I'm just going to target down onto the Kyogre slot, right? Go for a player off, maybe? Player off is stab, so. Go for a player off. Gotta target on this Kyogre. We do have speed all day. And water spout. Oh, you outspeed me? Oh, he's gotta be choice. He's gotta be choice. He's gotta be choice, right? Choice Scarf with the Kyogre. So good. First battle, we end up losing. It is all good. I made a terrible play by going into Trick Room Turn 1. But we're gonna hop into our second battle and look for our first win. Going up against back-to-back -back Kyogre teams. We're hopping here into our second battle. He has Wimscott. Pikachu over here. Pikachu's a cool Pokemon, so I'm glad he's bringing that in on his team. He also has the Cinerace, the Kyra, who are two big threats. Amoongus and Talonflame. Talonflame can set up Tailwind. Wimscott can set up Tailwind. Uh, so he's definitely going to have speed. He's definitely going to have a lot of speed here. So we might want to just send a Trick Room right off the rip with Gengar. Last game, it was a mistake. But this time, if they're rocking a Trick Room, that can really, really benefit us. Or no, if they're rocking Tailwind, that's what I meant to say. That can really benefit us. So we are going to lead the Gengar, maybe potentially do that. And he doesn't have any Intimidate, so Zassian could be a turn one guy. He could be a turn one guy, or we could go in the Volcarona. <clears throat> Potentially set up a Quiver Dance. Let's see, 152 speed. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Definitely want to bring Rillaboom somewhere in this battle, but I don't think I want to lead him. I might end up leading the Magnezone. What do I think he's going to go into? Hmm, the fire is just such a threat. I might go in the Pelipper right off the rip. I'm going to go in the Pelipper. I'm going to bring Pelipper here and bring Rillaboom and Zassian in the back end. The reason I'm bringing Pelipper is because he has so many fire threats and also Hurricane is hitting 100% of the time in that uh in that rain. So if he leaves that Wimscott, that can do big damage onto the Wimscott as well. But Pelipper getting some love. Pelipper getting some love. And in the rain, water's going to do more damage. Let's see how this one plays out. We do have the damp rock, so it'll last the weather a lot longer and neglect a lot of the fire damage. He's going to end up going into Talonflame and Pikachu. So, Thunder's hitting 100% of the time. That's scary. Um, how should I play this one? I'm thinking of really just... Hmm, what should I do? I'm trying to think what I could do. I don't want to set up a Trick Room. I could go into a Trick Room. Does Pelper have Protect on him? He does. I'm thinking of doing that. Protecting Pelper because these guys are rather fast. And I see him just going straight into a Tailwind, right? With the Gale Wings. And maybe Pikachu dropping a Thunder. That could be big for us if, if that's exactly what's going on here. Tailwind setting up. Let's go. Let's go. Big trick from coming in here. And hopefully he's going after Pelipper. Thunderbolt. Yo. Huge turn. Yo. Round of applause for Jeans. Round of applause for Jeans, baby. Protect. Getting that off. Trick room popping out here. Now I'm liking exactly where we're sitting. I'm really liking where we're sitting. Pikachu is a glass cannon. He hits like a truck. Same thing with Gengar. So I'm just going to target him down. Actually, I'd rather use Sludge Bomb. Because it does more damage. And then I think we just Scald. We just drop a lovely little scald over into this talent thing. Mwah. We take speed off of this with this trick room. Oh my god, yo. What a play. What a play. What a play by Jeans. Making some hard reads. Skull's gonna come out here. We might just pick up an easy double kill here. Yo, talent thing. Out my face. Get him out of here. We don't need him here. I'm guessing Pikachu is not Sash. I'm not even gonna lie. He probably has that light ball onto it. So Sludge Bomb could potentially pick up the KO. Get out my face, yo. Let's run it. Run this. Run this battle, baby. What a start, yo. First turn, making the hard read, setting up the trick room. Second turn, just dumping on his first two Pokemon easily. Easily, yo. Now he has him in the rain. He's not going to be too good. Actually, he's going to be phenomenal because it's Liberio. And that thing's looking a little scary. That thing's looking a little scary, but it's all good here. 
Because you know why? Because I could double down. And we have speed. Wonderful, wonderful speed. Um, we should go after. I think Kyogre could potentially protect. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch my shots up. I'm gonna go Sludge, Sludge Bomb on this slot. Actually, no, we're gonna go Scald onto that slot. But he's not gonna use a fire. Actually, yo, we outspeed, so. Uh, when I Sludge Bomb over here, we outspeed because of the whole Trick Room situation. Or I could just Wide Guard. But I'd rather just drop a Scald. I really would rather just drop a Scald instead of Wide Guarding. Sucker Punch gonna come through here. Live Beeros giving the change. Lucky son of a biscuit. Lucky son of a biscuit. That's gonna bring me down to my Sash, which I'm cool. I could have Wide Guard, but it's all good. It is all good. Our focus is going to hang on here. We're going to be able to get off two shots on the uh, these guys right here. Scald might be able to take out because it's in the rain. No, give me a burn, though. Show me a burn. No burn happening, but Sludge Bomb popping out here. Pop, getting off some damage. Poison? Let's go. Let's go. Poison popping out here. Lovely. Water Spout's going to come out. Take out my Gengar. Gengar, you did wonderful. Teeing off on Pokemon, and it's going to do some damage overall onto the Ploops. All right, yo. I'm totally cool with that. Cursed Body's going to come out. And we disabled that. Now, if that thing is truly Scarf, does that mean he has to struggle out? <laughs> that could be a play. That could be a play, dude. Um, we could go real boom and really just finish up this battle here. Or I could just bring in Zassi and have some fun with it. But if I'm playing smart, I'm going to go in the real boom here. So, that's what I'm going to do. Gene's going to play smart. Rillaboom is going to pop out here. Lovely little Rillaboom. Gotta love his Pokemon. So, we have the Surge out here. He has, the, or we have the ring. We actually set the ring. And dude, good call by me to go into the Paloops, man. Um, I'm just going to fake out you. And then I think I'm just going to uh, Hurricane over onto you. Let's see, how this, let's see how this one plays out. Is he just going to cancel? He's going to cancel. Yo, what a dominating battle for battle number two. We end up picking up our first win. Now we can hop into our third battle and look for that winning record. No way, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the team that we're going up against in this third and final battle. It is a mono dragon team. A mono dragon team. This team is looking amazing. He has Noivern, Latios, Garchomp, Duraludon, Eternatus, and the one and only Dracofish. Hey, yo, Mr. Dracofish, if you're watching this video, give me a Dracofish in the comment section down below. If you guys know who Mr. Dracofish is, he's a viewer of this channel, and in a lot of my videos, he just comments Dracofish in my videos. It is hilarious. He cracks up every single time. So shout out to him for checking out the videos and support me as a content creator. But like I said, yo, Mono Dragon Team, Zassian's going to be thriving here. He's going to be an absolute beast. So we're definitely going to be bringing him in here. Maybe not leading him. Maybe just bringing him in in that back end. But I'm trying to think who I could go into. Dang, Dragons, man. Dragons going to be doing dirty. We're going to lead that Gengar. We're going to lead the Real Boom. Definitely bring in Zassian 1000%. And then just Volcarona in that final spot. It's gonna be my Pokemon. It's gonna be my thing. It's gonna be my what we're gonna do here. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. I really just want the Volcarona and Zacian. Just for sheer fact that Zacian can just play rough on most of these guys and take them out one shot. But on the other side, Volcarona can just rage powder and protect by Zacian. So that is gonna be our key to winning this. But yo, shout out to this guy for rocking out with his sick team. I saw it at first, I was like, wait, what? I was like, how could you have that many restricted mods? Then I realized it's like, oh, a bunch of pseudo legendaries. Everything's looking spiffy. Team's looking amazing. He could potentially just drop a Tailwind, and I might just predict the Tailwind, right? Wait, I should just predict the Tailwind. I think that's exactly what I'm going to do, is going to be predicting the Tailwind. And just popping a Trick Room. Lovely little Trick Room. You have two Pokemon that can that, that rock Tailwind, so... I think we just rock this. I think we just rock the Trick Room, just like we did in the last battle. And then we just potentially fake out. I can see an air move coming in here. I was going to fake out, but I don't want him to, uh, I don't want to fake out the Tailwind user. And then him not using it. So Super Fang is going to come in here, so good block by me. And Tailwind should come out from his other Pokemon, right? He's going to set up a Reflect. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. The Trick Room is going to be popping. I wonder if that benefits him or me. I wonder. He has a Reflect out and about. I do have Shadow Ball ready to rock, which is exactly what I'm going to drop. I'm going to you. And... I'm just gonna grass glide. I guess we'll grass glide into him, do a little bit of damage. Super Fang is probably gonna take me out. Like I said, all we really need is Zassian out here. So there's that. That was one place out. Shadow Ball's gonna come out here. And Trick Room is benefiting us a lot. Very fast team he has. And that's gonna do big damage. And I knew I should have went after the Latios. Or Latios. I think this just could have been a good play. Miracle Fire comes out here. We're able to eat. Can just go for grass glide. That is gonna get a special defense drop. Or special attack drop. And Super Fang is gonna come out here. And Rillaboom's gonna dodge, dude. I love it. 
Gotta love it. Right, so we love that. Um, let's drop a Sludge Bomb now at this point. Because Sludge Bomb, you're going through Grassy Glide on him. Just try to get off that damage. I don't think it's going to take him out because we are, or he does have a Reflect Up. But I'm hoping maybe it could. We'll see. A Miracle Seed is out and about. Miracle Seed is there. Because if we're doing that much damage to that uh, Noivern, I just don't see us doing enough damage to kill that Latios. Because Latios, I think, is a little bit more bulkier than a Noivern. But Grass Guy is still going to fly. We're still going to get after it. And it does pick up the KO. Yo, let's go, baby. We'll be picking up a big KO for us. And Sludge Bomb is still going to fly through here. We still have the speed. And how much damage are we going to do here? Lovely mouth. Give me the poison. No poison. And Whirlwind's going to fly out here. And I'm with that all day. I'm with that Whirlwind, yo. Go ahead. Bring him out. Go ahead. Go ahead. You lucky. You are so lucky, dude. This dude is so lucky. <laughs> He's so lucky. He's one lucky buttery biscuit. That he brings out my Volcarone instead of my deadly Zacian. But I kind of like having my Zacian in the back because we did set up that Trick Room. And he, I'm so super surprised that he did not set up that, uh... That he did not set up the, what's it called? The Tailwind. So I could go for a Quiver Dance here. I should protect here. Probably what I'm going to do. Go for the Grassy Guy. Get off as much damage as I possibly can. Just protect him. And... Oh, we're just chilling there with decent health. Like I said, once I, once I get out Zacian, he's pretty much over with. And now I still have Gengar in the back, who once Tailwind ends, we're going to have a decent amount of speed. But, dude, this Pokemon are fast. All these Pokemon are fast. That's a, that's a key part of Dragon Pokemon. The one Pokemon I don't like going up against is going to be Duraldon. But I don't think he really brought Duraldon. But I do have close combat on my Zacian, which should be able to dump on that thing as well. That's why Zacian is just a beast up against all these Dragon Pokemon. Fuck is definitely helping him out here. Fish's rank comes through here. I should be able to eat that up all day. Easy eats. And taunts can come out here. Oh, you're taunting me. Oh. Oh, you're taunting me. I could go for another grass guy, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. Now my quiver dance. I could go for a quiver dance here. If you're gonna taunt me, I'm gonna quiver dance. But that's what you're gonna do. I can see a potentially another fish's rank coming out here, and I, I can see the same exact turn. Grass guy coming out. Oh, here comes another Fish's Ren. And he's just going to take me out this time. <laughs> he's just going to take me out, which is all good. Flame Body coming in here and a big old burn onto the Draco Fish. Like I said, like I said this in the beginning. I was like, yo, our team's not looking good except for our Zacian. So we actually, I'm actually with this. Ooh, he's going to set up a Talon. He's going to set up a Talon. But what he doesn't know, one thing that he doesn't know is that our boy, Gengar, is coming back out here. And he's focus sashed. He is sashed. He is lovely sashed. So let's just set up the sandwich. Or let's just set up the trick room again. This lovely, this lovely little, lovely, lovely little trick room. Trick room it up. Bopping. Might double down into me. In that case, I'm just gonna drop a wood hammer. In that case, I'm just gonna drop a wood hammer. Let's see his play. I don't... Actually, I probably should have just grass guide on him. Group can come out here. Oh, that's scary. That does not even take me out. That was embarrassing. This friend comes through here, and guess what? You're burned, and second thing is, you're sash. We get off this lovely trick room. Woodhammer should be able to take out Draco easily. Get him out of my face. Get him out of here. Recoil damage might take out my Rilla. Might take out my Rilla. It does not. Lovely. Trick room. Out and about, dude. We're not even going to bring out Zacian here. We don't need him. We don't need him. Gengar and Pelipper are doing all the work. Gengar and Pelipper are too good. Pelipper did work in the first battle, or in the second battle. Gengar's just been doing work all around. He brings out Garchomp. Yo. Oh my face, yo. Once I bring out the Zacian, it is over with. So that's why I'm going to be able to easily pick up the KO on him. I'm going to target down you. And then, do I still have that terrain? I don't think I do. Do I? I got, I got to look. Rather be safe than sorry. No, terrain's gone, so hey. We dropping wood hammers. We dropping wood hammers. I think, I think we should have speed all day. Because again, you're tailwind, but we're trucking up. And I don't see him having any first turn priority moves. This one's pretty much over. Wood hammer coming out and about. Bop. And this will be awesome to see us win this battle without Zacian. Getting pretty dang close. It's going to turn into a 1v1 because Sludge is going to take you out. And Garchomp's going to take you out. And he's probably sitting there like, yo, please don't let him have Zacian. But hey, 
Why wouldn't I bring Zassi? That would just be ridiculous. EQ's gonna fly through here. That's gonna take us out. It's gonna be GG for us. GG's for us. We got our boy. We got our boy in the back end who probably could have soloed this whole squad here. But look how much work we did. Even if we didn't bring Zassi, we still would have won because all we would have needed was one extra Pokemon. Say we brought Pelipper. Just say we brought Pelipper. Pelipper could have easily 1v1 this battle right here. Could have easily beat up on this Garchomp because EQ can't hit us. He can definitely eat up a Dragon move and kill this thing in one shot. And then who was our other Pokemon on our team? Instead of Volcarona, it would have been... Who is the last Pokemon on our team? I can't even think of it. We have Gengar, Zacian, Rillaboom, Volcarona. Oh, it's Magnezone. I think, ooh, would Magnezone be able to 1v1 this thing with body presses? Maybe. I mean, we have steel moves as well. But hey, I think we would have won this one without Zacian regardless. But we had him in the back end just in case. Didn't try using him. And we had to use him only in the end here to pick us up this final KO for that win. But hey, winning record here. Dominated today's video except for that first battle. But second and third battle were really well. And we had ourselves a great video. I always love using off meta teams for you guys. Always have so much fun recording them. And I always love winning with them, which is exactly what we did in today's video. Went 2 and 1, grabbed ourselves that winning record, showed off Gengar, showed off a huge battle with Pelipper, making reads and whatnot, and showed off Zassi into his fullest potential as well. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.